Dear students, I am Devinder Singh Chair, Science Master, Government High School, Shergarh District, Fazil. Students, today we learn about parts of flower. That's an important activity in sixth, seventh, and eighth class. Students, we all know that plants reproduce through asexual and sexual mode of reproduction. And when we talk about sexual reproduction, two major factors are important. One is male part and second is female part. Now, why they are important? Because male part will give us male germ cell and female part will give us female germ cell. And in sexual reproduction, both germ cells are important. Now, I would like to ask a simple question. Which part of a plant plays an important and vital role in sexual reproduction? Very good. That is a flower. So, let's start. Today, I'll use Datura flower to demonstrate the different parts of flower. You can use China rose also. Now, students, this is Datura flower in my hand. Now, the first part you will notice these green leaf like structures. These green leaf like structures are called sepals. Now, what is the function of sepal? Sepals protect the flower when flower is in bud stage. Now, this was the first part. I'll remove these sepals. Now comes the second part. That is color. There are a lot of colors in flowers. Yellow, purple, orange, red. In Datura plant, these colored parts that they are cream in color. This part is known as petals. Now, what is the function of petal? Basically, petals will attract insects that will help in pollination. Now, I'll remove these petals also. After removing, you all will notice that there are two parts inside a flower. These are similar in shape. One part, this is the second part. These are male part of flower and this is female part of flower. Now, first of all, I'll show you the male part. Male part of flower is known as stamen and it consists of two parts. One is anther that will contain pollen grains and second is filament. Male part of flower is known as stamen consists of anther and filament. Anther contains pollen grains and pollen grains have that male germ cell. Now let's talk about female part of flower. This is known as pistil and consists of three parts. One is stigma, this sticky one. Second, this tube-like structure style. And third, this bulb-like structure ovary. Female part of flower is known as pistil, consists of three parts, stigma, style and ovary. Now, this ovary has that female germ cell. Now, when pollen grains from anther reach at stigma, this process is known as pollination. After pollination, with the help of pollen tube, the male germ cell will reach at the female germ cell that is present in ovary. Now, when male and female germ cell both will combine. This process is known as fertilization. After fertilization, all the parts of a flower like petals or style or stigma will shed off. 
and ovary will increase in size this is the size of ovary in a flower see the size and after fertilization this is the size of ovary see the difference now ovary contains the seeds inside you can see the brown color these are seeds after few days ovary will burst off and seeds will come out and when seed get watered and soil it will germinate so these were the different parts of flower and the process of sexual reproduction thank you very much stay home stay safe